Hi everybody and welcome to Fusion Fundamentals with me MJ. Today's video has us looking at the Revolve feature and some of the things we can do with it. In this case we've made this medicine bottle with a cap and we've used the thread tool to get our cap internal thread as well as the bottle's thread. So let's get into it. For this tutorial we're going to be mainly focusing on the revolve tool and in order for us to revolve anything we need a profile. We will build our profile by creating a sketch on any one of these front planes or side planes whichever one you want. I'm going to do a couple of rectangles to get our basic shape. So R for a two point rectangle or we can click up there. And I haven't decided on these dimensions yet. Got a couple of dimensions in mind. So this will be 12 millimeters and this line to that line will be 20 and then that distance I'm not sure we're gonna play around with it and see what we want so I've just clicked on there fill it and I'll hover over the corner or you can select the two lines and we'll make that 12. Now I know when I revolve this it's going to be that big on the other side as well so let's do a quick revolve and see what it looks like. Push revolve. Now we're going to select our two profiles and select our axis. So that doesn't look anything like the image we saw in the beginning. So we're going to work on that a bit. I can leave that there like that. And then we'll go back into our initial sketch and adjust it from there. So I can see these aren't fully constrained. Sometimes this is one of the benefits of not constraining it fully. Um, because then you can drag it around and see how you want it before you put in all your constraints. So that's looking a lot better. I think it's maybe still a bit fat. So we'll bring that in a little bit more. I think this is going to be a winner for us. So I'm happy with that. But there's a couple of features on this bottle that I want to make sure we have. So with that being the height, I'm just going to set this distance let's make it a round number so 85 it's a little bit taller but i know that line is now locked in and we'll set this line to that line and 25. now i can see it's fully constrained so that's good what i want now is the bottle is going to have a little edge at the bottom and kind of not be touching over there so what i'm going to do is i'm going to push r for two point rectangle draw it out to there it's very much bigger than what I want, but that's just our starting point. I'm going to push D to dimension this line against that line, and we'll make that three millimeters. I'll then dimension this line against our origin line and make that two. Now we can go up here to fill it and put a little fillet on that, and we can make that fillet probably be about three millimeters. No, two is good. Um, we'll set that and then T for trim. And I'll trim away these lines. Now when we go back into our revolve, we should see it looking a bit better. I just want to add a quick fillet over here. Very small one, one millimeter. That's perfect. So that's looking a bit better. We've got a little lips on the edge of the bottle there. And yes, I'm happy with that. So it's going to be our basic shape of the bottle, but I want to have it hollowed and I want to put a thread on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use our shell tool and click on the top surface and our bottle is going to be two millimeters thick. So I'm going to click OK and now we can see we've got a hollow bottle there. What we need now is some thread on the head of our bottle. So I'll go to create and choose the thread tool. Then I will select this curved surface or face that we're going to be doing and I've, I've mentioned this before if it's not selecting model it's just kind of a image we're not actually seeing the curves it's not computing it so we're not going to be able to use it as a mold like we want to you'll see shortly how we're going to use it as a negative for our cap so I'm going to say model and this is just a standard I think an isometric profile and according to the size of the outer diameter here, it will select this automatically. 
but you can go in and change this if you want. So I'm just going to click OK. Now we've got our bottle. Um, I just want to add some little ribs on the edge there. So what I'm going to do is create a sketch at the bottom. And just do a two point rectangle. It doesn't have to be precise because we're just going to extrude the center part up. I'm just going to dimension this now. So dimension that against the origin. I want that 0 0.5. And then the same need a dimension against the origin or against that one. So it's centered there, finish sketch. Now if I go to extrude, you'll see I'll be able to select just that one. So we didn't have to get those exact. I can have that come up by one millimeter. You can see that's a bit big. So we'll go 0 0.5 and at the join operation, okay. Now what I'm gonna do is just put a little fillet on there, just on that side and that side, and it'll be 0.25. That just gives us a bit of a round edge, so this will be what the bottle's sitting on. That may in fact be a bit high. Let me go back into my extrude and make this 0.25. Let's see what it says if my fillet's... Okay, so my fillet's basically a full round, it rounds it right to the edge. So I'm fine with that one. Now we're going to go to create and pattern and circular pattern. Once you've got circular pattern, we're going to go here and select features because it's not a body. We want to select these two features. So that's the extrude as well as the fillet. And the axis will be, you can see any one of these that highlights around will be our axis. And we're going to need a whole lot more than three. So let's start with, let's see 50. That's not quite right. Let's go 80. It's looking a bit better. I think 100 is the winner. So that's kind of what it would look like. Um, you can obviously just adjust that to however you think it should look. Now we're going to do the cap. So I'm just going to get to, I want to work on the front plane. I just like the front plane. For this, it doesn't actually matter because this is centered around the origin. So I'm going to create a sketch and select the front plane. Now what I want to do is say slice so I can see the lines I'm working with. I'm going to go two point rectangle and it's going to be on this line here. So I want it just above there. So maybe halfway up that first thread. And then it's going to come to that line and up. So that looks good. Let's just drag this out a little bit. And I'm happy with that. What we need to do now is add in a couple of lines. So I'm going to draw a line right up to the top. And then a line across. This is going to be our lid. So T for trim. And I'll just trim these lines. Um, when we use this bottleneck as a mold, it's actually going to cut away those parts where they intersect. Uh, I don't mean to trim that and to drag it down so i think we can probably have that as 1.5 millimeters and then this will also be 1.5 didn't actually measure a bottle so i don't know how i think that looks a little bit too thin let's go to two moles and two moles here there we go so now we've got the profile of the lid that we're going to revolve Finish sketch and choose revolve. The profile will be this new profile that we've just done. We didn't constrain it properly, but I think we can get away with it. And then the axis will be our Z axis. So it's not giving me axis of this. I'm just going to turn off the bodies, choose the Z axis. Now it's giving me a warning saying there's no bodies visible and it's going to be a new body. So now I've got two bodies. If I turn body one off, we can see we've got this lid with no profile, no nothing. And then we've got our bottle with the threads on. What I'm going to do now is we're going to combine them. So with this combine tool, we'll select the target body, then the tool body. And it's going to be a cut operation. So this tool body will cut through. But I want to keep the tool body, so I click OK. Again, I've still got two bodies, but if I turn this one off, 
flip inside and it's nicely cut our threads there exactly where the bottle would have been so everywhere where the bottle's touching if i go to inspect now and just check a section analysis out go to this back view you can see here those teeth have cut it out perfectly now let's add a bit of detail to the bottle I want to create a sketch on the top plane um, I'm just going to hide this body for a bit this makes it easier for me to visualize and we're doing a rectangle here this is very much bigger than I want this just makes it easier when you're doing your dimensioning so we're going to have one millimeter wide grooves running down the side of the bottle and they are going to be let's see let's drag this to more or less where we want it and then I'll just dimension this D we will make that 12.5 and what did I type in oh dear let's fix that typed in 121.5 so now that's constrained and if we really want we can do this to basically anything just so long as it's sticking out finish sketch what I want to do now is extrude that all the way down so I'll select this profile is the one we want to cut but I'll just select that profile as well I like to be safer no it's not going to make a difference but yeah that's just how it is so it's going to be just short of the bottom there I'm not worried exactly how short just just a little bit and cut then we can we can go in and do a circular pattern create pattern circular and we've already selected that feature the axis will be this axis and we definitely don't want a hundred and that's cutting pretty much the whole bottle away I'll try 50 on this one see what 50 looks like that's pretty good now I actually wanted a bit of a fillet on this edge but if I try to do a fillet now probably it'll give me some errors because now it's trying to do in the gaps so what I can do is just jump back to there and and select our outer line one millimeter and let's see if these still are able to compute here we go so our pattern is now referencing the axis that is no longer there so I'll just adjust that and we're back to a fixed drawing and we've got our fillet as well as our little grooves so we're almost done here I'm going to turn these bodies back on and we're going to apply some appearances to it so I can just push a bring up the appearance menu and we're going to select glass and let's look for like a brown sort of medicine bottle looking glass that should work let's just drop it on this body that looks pretty good so see through and then we want a plastic um not sure what color maybe a black or a white so we'll go into our plastics and we'll try this ABS white drop on the lid there let's right let's see what a black looks like I think the black actually suits it a bit better so we'll stick with that now the last little thing we're going to add to our bottle we can see nicely we can see the thread through there last thing we're going to add is a decal so I'm going to go insert decal and then I'll browse for it and now we need to select the surface so it's going to be this outer surface I'm just gonna put it to size here it does this weird thing where depending on the angle you can't actually see it so I'm just gonna put it on there get it to the size I want and click OK so now at this slightly viewing from slight bottom angle it works quite nicely so I'm quite happy with that we've got our little medicine bottle 
what I love about this program is that if you're not happy with what you've done and you want to make a small change, as long as you don't break the drawing, you can make that change upstream and it will completely change things downstream. So if I have to say make this 100 and I'd have to make this coincidence, there's a couple of things I'd have to do here. Put a horizontal constraint on that. Let's see what it does. Okay, let's hope that doesn't break our drawing. Let it compute. There we go. We've got a longer bottle, <laughs> but the neck doesn't. The neck doesn't work because it's referencing the lid there. So I'm just going to undo that. We would have to move the bottle cap up. What we can do, we can just drag this down. Let's see what happens there. I'm gonna have a long bottle. There we go. I've got a long skinny bottle. Let me turn off the sketches. So that's it's not really how I like it because I like things to start and end at the origin. But that's just one way you can change something upstream and it completely changes your drawing. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did please do like and subscribe, it really helps me. And maybe leave a comment or two. If you want to get in touch, you can contact me at fusionfundamentals at gmail.com. Till next time, bye.